Hey, listen. Okay. I'm, I gotta get this, this wig done. Like, uh uh. Come on. Uh uh. drop my wig on the floor thanks what is up hunty welcome back to my channel let's get it started make sure you like and subscribe and turn on your notifications what is up y'all of course welcome back welcome back welcome back hunty okay i'm in my regular clothes because <laughs> i ain't doing nothing crazy today i'm just finishing up all of the you know crossing on my t's dotting on my eyes from my other video my last video was about the truth about being a wig maker talking about the money the clients and of course, things that you will need to know to navigate being in this wig game, hunty, okay? Bam, the wig game. But y'all ain't got this ebook, go ahead and go get it. I'm also, too, before we get into this video, I want to let you guys know that I am doing this 10K challenge. Um, it does start November 1st. This is a chance for you guys to learn how to make 10K a month with your business, okay? You could be a beginner, you could not have any clients or anything. I'm gonna teach you absolutely all of that. Or or even someone who has already started their business, I'm going to be able to teach you how to reach 10K a month if you have not already done that, hunting. Because for me, at this point, it's a breeze, okay, baby? So, why is it so hard for so many wig makers to last in this wig game? <laughs> I will tell you why, okay? It's a lot of reasons. Let's get into it. One of the number one reasons of why so many people just do not last in this wig game is because a lot of people just don't have the passion. The number one thing that everybody always wants to be worried about is the money. The money is great. I'm here to tell you that. The money is wonderful. The money is great. I will continuously keep saying it because it is the truth. Yes, we do make a minimum of $250 per wig, $350 per wig. Some people make up to $3,000 per wig. That's just their audience and who they're selling to. Some people make $1,000 per wig. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. All profit is good profit experience wig makers are out here promoting their work and we're putting the prices up under our work and showing like hey this is how much the wigs cost a lot of people are looking at that like oh wow they're making that much money for just some hair just some hair and it's like yeah like why not you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day this hair itself is expensive just buying the hair is expensive then all the materials and everything that goes into it the tools and everything expensive okay this stuff is not cheap this is this is not a cheap business to maintain okay hunty so at the end of the day that is the entire reason of why the wig prices are so high but a lot of people are always looking at those wig prices and always seeing as oh that's a come up when in reality a lot of us had to work up to those prices. Like I know me, myself, I started off doing wigs $50 a pop. Like I would tell people like, hey, you bring me your you bring me your hair, I'll make your wig for $50. And that worked out for me. I did that for probably about like a good four to six months to build up my clientele as well as to build up my skills. And once my skills got to a higher level, I started charging $100, $250, $350, $450, $550, $700 a pop. So, and that was when I started selling the wigs with the hair included. But yeah, girl, entirely too many people lack passion and feel like because you made a wig and you posted it for $700, that it's going to sell for $700. That's not the case. Honestly. You have to build up to that point. That's, that's what I'm here to tell you. Unless you already have a really, really dope fan base that will literally buy anything from you. And for most people starting out, that is not the reality. So definitely if you want to last in this wig game, like money should not be your, money should not be your number one priority. You wanting to do something better and greater than what everybody else in this game is doing. You feel like you can add something to it that nobody else has ever done. Then go for it. All right, so the number two reason of why wig makers just do not last in this industry is because a lot of them, and I'm gonna say a good, I'm gonna say a good 95% of them just don't look trustworthy, okay? And what I mean by that is, is like their pages just look basic as fuck. Their website is basic as fuck. They don't understand that you can invest small amounts of money into your website you can literally go on etsy uh buy website templates that can be like a bare minimum of like 12 dollars and upgrade your website that way like it's super super easy on top of 
Um, a domain name costs you one dollar a year. Your website is going to run you, let's say, a bare minimum of like twenty six dollars a month. A cup. Now, at the end of the day, this is not an industry that you can start without money. You need at least a bare minimum of like something you need something you can start it with no money you can get a free website and you can try to build that website on your own and do your own digital art if you know how to do that which is what i did because i already went to school for graphic design and me being computer savvy it was very very easy for me to build my website for free i built my first website for free okay um and i did all of my own graphic design everything uploaded my own templates and all of that so me starting out I started out with no money. I had like negative $17 in my bank account. But for people who aren't handy in those fields, who aren't advanced in those fields, or aren't willing to learn how to how to do those things on their own until they can uh, afford other people to do them to do those tasks for them, you need to have at least a bare minimum of $200 to invest in your business so that you can be able to have a nice looking website your page needs to scream oh i want that wig oh i want to purchase from them oh i want to watch their videos oh i want this oh i want that you want to be creating excitement with your audience in order to get them to shop with you okay in order to get them to trust you everything the other reason why a lot of them aren't trustworthy is just simply because they don't go live they don't post videos they don't interact with their audience they don't comment when people are commenting under their videos their photos like none of that like that's that's crazy like if i know me if i'm looking for somebody to interact with me in order for me to purchase from them even though i'm not that kind of shopper but if i was i would definitely want your attention like give me your attention that's what they want people purchase from who they relate to and who they have a connection with okay As I stated before, a lot of these wig makers are just not making it. And at the end of the day, there are twice as many people that are coming into this industry as there are people that are leaving. Let's say for every one person that's just quitting and leaving, there's another two that are coming and will replace you. Literally because they will take all of your mistakes, not do those mistakes, be become a very consistent person because what do we know about marketing consistency always wins the game okay be consistent or you want to only be worried about making money okay i get it i come from detroit the only luxury we had was to worry about survival okay once you are only worried about survival i get it you need money you need money to 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 eat to survive to take care of yourself your kids your family um if you have pets you need to feed your pets whatever whatnot but at the end of the day, you have to stop operating in a survival mind frame. You have to start operating in abundance. You have to start operating in consistency, showing your operating your business in abundance. You need an abundance of content. You need an abundance of uh, photos, videos, TikToks, reels, everything. All of this stuff works, hashtags, everything. The only problem is, is too many people are not trying to put that work in. They want to see us making these super beautiful wigs and making wonderful money and being happy with financial freedom. And they want a piece of it. Obviously, yes. But at the end of the day, pick a, you know, come into this knowing that you're going to be consistent and you're going to show passion through your work. And you're going to show passion through your content because that is what's going to win your audience over absolutely every single time the number three reason why a lot of these wig makers just do not last is because they are not interacting with their audience like even when people are commenting and are loving their work they're not talking to these people they're not engaging with these people they're not making interactive posts it's just not coming together hunty okay it's just it ain't happening 
No one is trying to shop with them. They're complaining about how they don't have any sales, how no one wants to shop with them, how people are only shopping with the most popular people. And it's like, duh. Like, think about why the most popular people are who people are shopping with. You know why? Because the most shop, the most popular people are putting out content. They're doing what they have to do to make sure that they reel in that audience that's the exact same audience that you're trying to reel in. Look at the people that are the most active within your field and especially in hair in general and figure out why they are that active like that. If you're able to get marketing classes from them, do so. But figure out why and how they are that active to be able to pull in as many people as they can. You need to be able to learn this because this is a key skill and this will prevent you from even wanting to quit and wanting to give up all the time. Now Facebook and Instagram and all these social media platforms are looking at you like you're a robot. Like, like, like your page is fake, you, uh, the, which is why the people that you want shopping from you are viewing your page as fake as well. Um, you're not going to get as many likes as you want to because you're not interacting. You're not talking to these people. These people are trying to talk to you. These people are trying to reach out to you and you're just not, they're just not doing it, you know? The number four reason is they have terrible skills. Like terrible, like terrible, okay? Terrible skills. So like, I don't normally like to like to talk about other people's skills because I know mine were not uh, always at the level that they are at today. But what I do know is, is one thing that I made an effort for was to make sure that my skills were up to par. Okay, hunty? All right? Like, can't nobody say I didn't try? Can't nobody say I didn't make an effort? No, like, no one can say that. Like, mm, no, you're mm, me? No, mm -mm, you're not gonna be able to say that about me. So, they just simply don't work on their skills. Like, photos look horrible. Videos look horrible. So you're looking at all these people that are making money selling wigs but it's as if you're not looking at your own products and looking at it like oh, okay my products don't look like that how can i get my products to look like that that seems to like kind of never be a thought process and it's like for me like once i saw that my wigs weren't like i wanted to be able to sell my wigs for 700 dollars each or at least you know 300 or more 400 or more starting at the box so once I realized like, oh, hey, okay, you know, my wigs aren't, don't look like these other $700 wigs. Once I figured that out, I'm just like, okay, you know, let me figure this out. Let me make the conscious effort to make my wigs look like this so that I'll be able to market them as such. But definitely do your research, figure out what other, other people are doing that are at a higher level than you within this industry. And then you'll figure out very quickly what you need to work on and areas that you need to improve in that you need to get better with. And if you just don't know how to do something, it's okay to ask people. Ask people who are at, uh, that you feel are at a higher level than you, their skill set and everything and ask them if they can help you ask them if they have classes ask them if they do free mentoring or something like that or they just have a mentor class that way you can get them to engage with you and you can learn their skills trust me a lot of a lot of people in this industry would love to teach because that's where the real money is the real money is in the teaching so why not offer you some classes why not why not offer you virtual classes you know there are a lot of people like myself and other people who are in this industry that offer virtual classes hands-on classes everything like those virtual classes be hidden since okay i'm gonna tell you right now okay all right if you need any information on any of my classes, because of course, as you guys notice, I'm not doing full tutorials anymore. Um, you can follow along with these if you want to, but if you want my exact color formulas, you're most definitely gonna have to join my virtual class and that will be in the link below. So at the end of the day, there's just absolutely not enough promotion. 
that's going around at all. And to be honest, it's very unfortunate because a lot of these people have really, really, really great work. Something that I find, and it's not just only within the hair industry, but it's a lot of people that want to be entrepreneurs, um, just any type of artist or anything. And they're like literally all just, like sometimes they'll post their work and sometimes they they won't it's like it's a sense of entitlement they just want to assume that somebody is just going to just find them and discover them and then they blow up like some people do go viral that way um it is like a little lucky lottery you need to be realistic some of those people go viral because they've already put that work in and started building up their audience and their fan base and it just so happens that one day their entire fan base may be online and then everybody shares um, their work and including other people that might not follow them just yet. If you're not willing to promote just as much as you breathe, you just you just don't need to be an entrepreneur. Like that just is what it is. This game is like, this hair game is a billion trillion dollar industry. It is absolutely no way, shape or form that nobody should be making under 10 to 20 grand a month especially if you've been out over a year honestly truthfully it's super it's just like super super unfortunate a lot of people's work goes unnoticed by people that could be possibly their high paying clients you're missing out on people that will spend seven eight nine hundred dollars for your pieces all because you don't want to promote enough you don't want to promote on every platform you don't want to promote every day um you don't want to promote every week whatever that may look like like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like I do so many organic posts, it don't even make no sense. I would say a good 90% of my posts are organic and what I post. Yeah, I do Facebook ads. Yeah, I do other different type of paid promotion, but truthfully, like truth be told, I've built up my platform enough to the point where I don't have to work as hard to pull in sales. I could just make as many organic posts as I need to, to be able to capture the attention of my audience that day or that time period that week that month whatever it may be and i can just go straight into selling them whatever i need to sell them unfortunately some people just don't have that type of platform and that type of leeway that i do um so it it takes a little bit of time and it does but the way you get there once again it's like by promo you're not going to get there without doing the work if that's just that's just not gonna happen so most definitely, if you're not willing to put in that work, that to put in all of that work that it takes to pull in your audience, you're not gonna pull in an audience. It's just, it's just not gonna happen. Um, you really just kind of can't. It's just really unrealistic to think that your work is the best work in the world. And even though it could be, it's just. If you're not making it a point to where people can see you as much as possible and people can know and understand who you are, what services you provide, what kind of products you create, anything like that, how are they really going to know to come to you when they need that product? Obviously, when you become an entrepreneur, you are coming, you're becoming an entrepreneur to fill a need. As wig makers, the need that we're providing is someone either needs a wig for maybe medical purposes, alopecia, or they just simply want a wig for styling purposes. Maybe they have an outfit or an event or something and they want their outfit to either match their clothes, their shoes, their purses, or they just completely want something different out of the box. You making sure that you promote as much as possible is going to be the deciding factor between you and the other person what is it about you and your business that will make somebody else choose you over them for me my number one thing i do is wake up every day and show everybody why they need to choose me over everyone else i'm not i've never been the type of person to sit back i've never been the type of person to wait around for people to like me, wait around for people to follow me, different things like that. No, I know for a fact there's people that wanna follow me. I know for a fact that there's people that love me, that like me, that want to talk to me, that want to see me. So I make it a point to be in their face as much as possible and always give them something new to see what I'm doing and creating. It's just as simple as that. Definitely make it your business 
to be seen every day. Definitely make it your business to be known every day. The more pe the more times that you make a video or something that you're doing and creating, just creating that engagement and talking to those people that are commenting under those videos. So definitely the number one thing that it boils down to is just no originality. Like everybody else wants to make the exact same looking wigs. Absolutely no one that wants to step out of their comfort zone, out of the box. Um, people are scared. And I get it. You know, some people just aren't good at color or being innovative, different things like that. But it just honestly does not make any sense to have 10,000 wig makers all doing the exact same colors, exact same wig. Say for instance, like this one. Let's move that one over just a little bit. Say for instance, like this one. This is this was my Halloween wig. And I already wore it because I thought I was recording it before, but I was not. But one of one of the people who I just love, and even though she's a fictional character, she's also still a great character. Like I really, really, really love uh, Corella Deville. Like she was not afraid to step out of her comfort zone. She was not afraid to step out of her box. You are literally just going to take her as is, and either love her or hate her. Most people loved her. The only people that hated her were the people that were threatened by her. Okay. Oh, yes, baby. When I say I redid the shiznit out of this wig, okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this week. But yeah, you don't have to do the exact same thing that everybody else is doing just because you feel like that's the only thing that works. It's not always the only thing that works. Being original is the main thing that works. Being yourself is the main thing that works. Be yourself. Be original. Do something different. Dare to be bold. Dare to be different. Okay. All right. Definitely, if you don't remember nothing else from this video, go hard or go home. Interact with your audience. Go live as much as possible so they can see you in person or make more videos so where you're talking to them, you're talking to your audience and everything, okay? Grow your skills. Get educated. That way that you can excel past the rest of your competitors. Promote your brand. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? Think outside the box, okay? That's what's going to get you to where you want to be. You thinking outside the box. All right. Just think about like what hasn't been done yet. Like what's something different that you could do? What's something different that you could add education wise, um, visually? What's something new that you feel? What's something new that you feel will spark the attention of the entire world or at least your audience at best? At the end of the day, it's always something new to offer. Okay. Something new. It's always something new that hasn't been done yet. Something new that's brand new. Just, just be the wig maker that you always wanted to see in someone else. That's it. I feel like that's that's in any industry. Just be the version of that that no one else has ever been able to successfully achieve at being or doing. Y'all, this <laughs> baby. Okay, let me take some photos with. With my girl over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye, y'all. Peace.